Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew are still in love. Couples very modern relationship reveal Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew have taken a modern approach to their relationship and have turned what could have been a bitter divorce into companionate love. A psychologist has told express.co.uk Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew's relationship has evolved from romance to companionate love, according to a psychologist, Mandeline uh, Masson Rontary. Director of Relationship Psychology Services at the Veda Consultancy. She told Express.co.uk Sarah Ferguson's and Prince Andrew's relationship seems to have evolved from romantic love and married to companionate love. Sarah, affectionately known as Fergie by British royal fans, divorced her husband in 1996, four years after being involved in a notorious toe-sucking scandal with her financial advisor John Byron. However, the couple remained close for the sake of their children, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene, and had brought them together without creating too much disruption in their lives. Their first daughter, Beatrice, publicly praised them as the best divorced couple in the whole world, and the both princesses hailed their parents as great examples of co-parenting. And Miss Rontree explains, co-parenting is becoming an increasingly common practice among divorcees. She said, Sarah and Prince Andrew are demonstrating what appears to be a healthy co-parenting relationship. Co-parenting has become increasingly popular in recent years, particularly amongst couples who separate and divorce amicably and who both work. Studies have shown that co-parenting can lead to better well-being for the child or children in comparison to being raised by one parent. Fergie has shown affection for Prince Andrew on several occasions, publicly stating during multiple interviews they never felt they never really left each other and praising the Duke of York as the best looking prince of the whole lot. This on top of claims she spent long period of time at the Royal Lodge in Windsor when she is in southern England and hence scattered across social media field claims that companion love have evolved once again into a new relationship. Kyle Snowden, sexual health and relationship expert, a doctor for you, there are still feelings shared by the couple. He told express.co.uk had the relationship rekindled, entirely possible. I think it's clear that there are still feelings there between them. It's not uncommon for a divorced couple to adopt a co-parenting partnership and stay friendly, although it's a lot more uncommon to be as close as Sarah and Andrew are, though it's not a bad thing at all. Sarah has admitted, despite her and Prince Andrew's differences, she didn't want a divorce, This, as well as her actions since the divorce, such as seeking friendship from the Queen and happily going back to work rather than chasing a large settlement. I believe a lot the pair to separate without the typical animosity. This created the perfect opportunity for friendship to flourish in in spite of the scandal in the 1990s. Princess Eugene, who's wedding to Jack Brooksbank in October last year, offered Royal Watchers another occasion to examine the friendship and relationship between her loving parents, sent royal fans into frenzy when she celebrated Fergie and Andrew's wedding anniversary with an Instagram post. While many asked why she was sending her best wishes to her parents as they are divorced, others look at that message as a hint. Fergie and Andrew got back together, while Mr. Snowden doesn't rule out the pair may have got back together. He also considered that the feelings they clearly have for each other may be purely platonic. He said it's just likely that those feelings are purely platonic and in the best interest of their children. Given the nature of the royal family and their high profile, the only people who will truly know the nature of the relationship is themselves.